everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to smooth out and even out skin tones um, in a boudoir shoot. So I've already did a basic color correction here, but now I just want to make um, her skin look nice and smooth and creamy and even. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm in the develop module. I'm going to come down to my HSL panel and I'm going to start with saturation. I'm going to click on the saturation, um, the adjust saturation tool, and then come over to the skin and just kind of move that around. And you can kind of, you know, play with that to your liking. Um, so I'm just going to take an adjustment here. And then I'm going to come over to Hue and I'm going to kind of do the same thing. This tool, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does. Um, it's just got something you're going to want to eye up. See, that's making it a little too pink. Um, so there we go. That's um, that's a little bit, actually a good bit more even. Um, so I've adjusted the color to her skin. Now I just want to do a little smoothing to it. So I'm going to come over here to my brush tool and I am going to select Skin Soften. There's Skin Soften and Skin Soften Light. I'm just going to do the Skin Soften. And then I'm going to start to paint on some skin softening. Now I'm going to turn my brush down just a little bit to kind of get in the corners over here just because I want it to look nice and even. Another trip I'm gonna, uh, trick I'm going to show you here, if you just click on select overlay, um, selected mask overlay, you can kind of see what spots you got and what spots you didn't. This isn't something that has to be perfect because we're going to have the heel tool out most likely and maybe even go over this again. Now I'm just going to kind of get in the middle here. Actually, I'm not going to worry about back there. Had a little bit of a bokeh fuck going on and you can't really see. It looks good back there. Okay. All right. So next I am going to grab my healing tool. The healing tool in Lightroom is pretty good. <laughs> I've already did a couple little spots. Don't pay attention to those. Um, but so I'm going to come to my healing tool and adjust the size. So I'm going to adjust the size. I'm going to make it just a little bigger. And the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of get some spots that noticeably I can see that I don't want in there. Um, you can kind of move that healing tool around too. If it picks up a spot, um, that's a spot you're not real happy with. So I just kind of move that around there. I'm not really liking how that's filling in. So I'm going to do that again and maybe pull from a different spot. There we go. I'm just trying to blend this right here. That's kind of what I'm, the purpose of what I'm doing there. So now um, I just see cut some spots over in this area um, I want to get and I know I'm going to have to come closer. I'm going to change my navigation panel to 4-1 so I can get in really close and look for those details. right in there I'm just gonna kind of uh, get some of those details now remember whenever you're on the navigation panel and you're zoomed in cl this close um, try not to overthink it you might be getting some details that you would never see because you're, you are zoomed in so close here's a couple little things we're gonna get Okay, 
so I'm going to hit fit to go back out. And the next thing I see, there's just a little bit of redness on one side that I want to um, take away. So I'm going to come to the brush tool again, except this time I'm going to do temperature. Don't need a very big brush. Uh, but I'm just going to paint on a little bit. Um, obviously that's not how I'm going to um, leave it. Uh, so I'm going to come to the temperature control and just click twice to take it back to zero. And then with that being a little um, red, I can add a little green there, just a very small amount because it wasn't that red to kind of even that out a little bit. Now see how doing that kind of even that for us, kind of blended it. And I'm going to come back to my heel tool and I see a couple of spots at the top. I'm going to come into my navigation pane again one more time. Just a couple small spots that I'd like to get. I'm probably overdoing it here. These are probably spots that nobody's going to notice because I'm pulling it extremely close. And then what I'm going to do, I'm oh, sorry, hit the fit tool. So what I'm going to do one more time, I'm just going to take a, a softening brush over it one more time. So I'm going to come back to my brush and I'm going to select skin soften. It's just kind of right down in here. I think I want to soften a little bit more. Not so much at the top. Top looks pretty good. Okay, I do see maybe get right in there just a little bit. So I'm just going to bring my brush tool a little smaller. There we go. Just kind of make sure. Oh, don't like that spot. Just make sure all that's blended nice. I'm going to come back and grab my heel tool again. This is kind of one of those things you might do the brush and then go back, kind of just bounce back and forth because you're going to see different things that you want to adjust. Um, and the reason I like to spend a good bit of time on these shoots is because uh, when when your client comes in to see them, they're they're going to want to look nice in the pictures. You don't want to have um, you know too many blemishes or skin imperfections, um, that, which are all normal. These aren't anything major. Um, you just want to um, do a nice job doing an airbrush before they come in. All right, guys. So let me show you right there. All right, right there is our edited version of the skin softening um, for our boudoir shoots.